بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبت في الله Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions fi kitabihi al-kareem فَمَنْ تَبِعَ هُدَايَ فَلَا خَوْفٌ عَلَيْهِمْ وَلَا هُمْ يَحْزَنُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned and promised and that's why we have to really reflect and if we really reflect, reflect on, on the Qur'an we'll, reha- we'll have a hidayah, we'll have guidance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this ayah, He mentions whoever follows guidance. فَلَا خَوْفٌ عَلَيْهِمْ وَلَا هُمْ يَحْزَنُونَ They will not fear. They won't have any fear. وَلَا هُمْ يَحْزَنُونَ And they will not become sad. Subhanallah wa bihamdihi subhanallah al-azim. This is azim, habita fillah. If we practice and understand and contemplate the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we really will have success and I'm emphasizing this for myself because it's so easy for us to get caught up in this worldly life and not to realize that our success comes from the book and the sunnah so Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala mentions, He says, whoever follows guidance, whoever follows guidance, they will not be fear, fear uh, they will not uh, be scared. No, they become sad. Look at all the ills and things that we face in this life. Most of the things that we face in the life, they, they come from those two concepts or those two emotions. Fear and sadness. Those are two negative emotions that we feel, we experience as human beings. And in fact, they don't always have to be negative, of course not. But this is not the time for philosophy. But the negative fear and the sadness, the negative expression of sadness is what we're concerned about here. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is mentioning that the mu'mineen, those people who follow guidance, because in order to follow guidance, that means you're a mu'min. That means you are of those, you're of Ahl Iman. You are the people who are reading and reciting the Quran, believing, وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمَلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ You're doing righteous deeds. وَتَوَصُلْ بِالْحَقِّ you're calling to the haq, you're calling to the truth, what to wasu sabr, and you're practicing and implementing sabr. That means you're sabr in, in you're, you're having patience with removing yourself from sins. Patience with doing the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Patience with regards to the harms and difficulties that you experience in life. Those are the characteristics of the mu'mineen. Those are the characteristics of the people who have hidayah. Who are following Hidayah. They are following guidance. They're following the Quran and they're following the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah. And when you reflect on that, Ahabatifillah, and you implement that, think about the times in your life that when you implemented, you were strong in Iman. Hardly anything could bounce you away from that. Because you're following 
guidance, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned. You're following Hidayah, the book in the Sunnah. So when you are stern on the book and stern on the Sunnah, you're following guidance and this supplants your khawf, your fear. This replaces your distress and your sad, sadness, that anxiety. But that is a level of strong iman. That is the one who is willing to sacrifice when others do not want to sacrifice. That is the one who's putting their time and their energy into studying the book in the sunnah and practicing and implementing what they studied. And that's few of us. Because if we were doing that, we would have the, the guidance and the light to deal with sadness in our lives and not to be sad and especially in a negative way and we would have the guidance in the light to protect ourselves from fear the fear of poverty the fear of uh, violence the fear of wild animals the fear of all of those things Although some of those are natural fears, but the one who walks on Iman, they have the necessarily necessary tools to protect his or herself from those feelings of stress and distress. This is what we want to habitifila. We want to follow guidance. So always continually ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for hidayah and do your best to practice what you understand from the Qur'an and what you understand from the authentic sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam be away from Ahl Bid'ah be away from those people who misguide you and those people who weaken your Iman but rather be with those who help to strengthen you and remind you of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala call you watawasul bil haqq they call you to the truth and call you to patience. So be and assist one another in these things. And cooperate, all of you steadfast. In humility and God fearfulness. And do not cooperate in sinfulness and in, in, uh, sinfulness and enmity. وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم